Good morning, folks. Finally, uh, a good start. We're starting at 3 o'clock in the morning. As you guys know, I usually love my uh, my early mornings. And we're finally getting back on to them after a few weeks of uh, getting late starts. I've been having my wife give me a ride down into the truck Monday morning uh, so I could take my kids to school. So I've been uh, just getting some late starts in the morning because of that. And we're finally up and running early in the morning so we got some miles to get going or we got some miles to get under our belts and uh we are on our way out to shreveport louisiana hopefully the dealership that i'm delivering to didn't get blown away in those tornadoes yesterday so thoughts and prayers for everybody over there hopefully uh no major injuries and no major uh no major problems for getting people's lives back up and going again so let's hit the road so we're just jumping out of the truck here. We were making pretty good time this morning, but uh, yeah, we ended up getting parked out here in the middle of Alabama. You can see we're on the side of the road because we had a tire detread. Um, yeah, they put recap on my truck and uh, I made it about three weeks so you don't usually uh, well you don't ever put recaps on a car hauler you don't get the air movement that uh, most other trucks get and by doing that we've uh, lost two of these recaps so far in three weeks I got two other ones left on and uh Guess we'll see how far those get us, but luckily, this car, to tell you right here, doesn't seem to be damaged. Um, when it blew, it kicked my mud flap out. You can see the line that it made right there. It kicked the mud flap out, and luckily didn't throw any chunks of rubber down the side of the car that I can see right this second but yeah if uh if you own your own trucks let that be a lesson to you don't ever put recaps on a car hauler there's just too much here and back on the trailer where it doesn't get the air movement and you uh you'll end up blowing them out you're not saving any money I've been to here now Two and a half hours, I could do the math. You make $1,500 a day to the truck and 14 hours, that's a, roughly $100 an hour, we'll say. $125 an hour. We'll go with 100 So right now, this truck's already lost $250. Uh, the guy's going to be here in about another 30 minutes, so now we're $300 into the negative on the day. And then uh, turn around and add the hour on to... The actual repair, so we're 400 in, and then the cost of the tire. So you got the road service call, which is probably 250 bucks normally uh, for the driver to come out here to fix the truck. So you got 250 there. You got another tire that you have to buy. We'll say on their discount, well, just on on a truck discount, 350 bucks, 400 bucks for another drive tire. Um, so yeah, we're pretty easily seven, eight hundred dollars into this repair without damaging any of the cars. I mean, you you go ahead and that tire gets thrown up against that car. That the front bumper could very easily be a few hundred bucks. The headlights probably seven, eight hundred bucks, nine hundred bucks to replace. Repainting five, six hundred to two, three thousand. Uh, depending on how much damage you do. So trying to save $100, $150 a tire easily without any damage, easily without any damage, just cost between five and $700. If we did damage, we're probably two to $3,000 into this. So I guess we'll sit here and wait for, uh, wait for them to get out here to fix it. I'll let you guys know what happens. All right, morning, folks. We are just getting ready to hit the road. As you can tell, still got that same load as yesterday on. 
So that right there is, I guess, my biggest complaint with with running recap tires is this load right here should have been off yesterday and I should have been able to get around 100, 130 miles back down the road, back towards West Point to get reloaded because I was down for nearly six hours or however long it was. I don't even remember at this point. Um, because I was down for so long, I ended up being 100, I think I'm 119 miles short of even making my delivery. It cost me probably a bit over, uh, a bit over 200, 250 miles total yesterday. And here's my thing. These tires right here on the trailer, these are virgin. Uh, the trailer's airing up right now. These are virgin tires on this truck. Uh, on the trailer. These tires, all of these, so I replaced all eight of these tires, got done right around, um, it was like 160-ish, 170,000 miles. We are at 270,000 miles. Most of these tires are still around a quarter to uh, a third of their life left in them. I got probably another 50, 80,000 miles on them. Truck, same thing. The uh, Those tires got right around 150, 170,000 miles on them. Uh, so you can see all these tires ended up getting replaced right around the same time frame. The four back tires got replaced with uh, with recaps, and the four fronts got replaced with standard virgin tires. Um, yes, you can blow out virgin tires, but as for the recaps, out of those four, so far three of them have blown. So this is now a virgin. The inside is now a virgin. The other two had blown previously and uh one of those i got a nail in uh but these two had gotten replaced previously these are another set of brand new recaps we don't know how long those will last but look this tire right here look at all the tread left on that and this this tire is easily over a hundred thousand miles I got my first recap when that blew, they put it on, they put it on in Greer, South Carolina, and I made it to the Florida line. That was, uh, that was as far as I got. I got over through Atlanta, got my load running down into, uh, Florida to deliver. Oh no, sorry. It made it from Greer, South Carolina up to Toledo, loaded in Toledo, down to the Florida line, and and it blew. It, the, uh, the actual tread right here started separating and was blowing air in between the tread and the cap itself, or the, the cap and the core of the tire. So in my opinion, it's really not even worth bothering to run recaps at all. Um... And, and, and I'd be willing to talk to anybody who thinks that it's more beneficial to run them, saving the money. Because I don't know, I don't know per se what United Road pays for the recap. I'm assuming with the quality of them, it can't be much, or at least I wouldn't be paying much. Um, but let's just let's just go with a simple number of one hundred dollars for the recap. $400 for uh, a full or for virgin tires. So a quarter of the price they are saving are they're spending one quarter of the price on a recap as what a virgin tire costs. So let's just go with those figures because they're simple, easy. We can we can roll through them pretty quick. So at the end of the day, we turn around and these trucks have to make about $1,500 a day. That That should be the bare minimum average uh, for, for a car hauler 
you you could make more, you should make more, but we'll we'll go with fifteen hundred, um, and we'll pretend we have a fifteen hour work day because then that's easy easy numbers. We have we make a hundred dollars an hour. Um, obviously the the numbers are a little different, but easy math wise, we can roll through it quickly. So you put a full set of eight drives on. Um, give me thirty two hundred dollars. You put a full set of eight recaps on, that is, that would be $800. So, uh, uh, yeah, they're, uh, so you put a full, a, full set of re, a full set of recaps on for $800. Bucks. You've saved roughly $2,400. Not bad at the end of the day. Um, for, well, it's, it's not bad. I'm, I'm doing my logbook while I'm talking. It's not bad if uh, if that was the end of the story because that does sound really good. You're spending hundred dollars instead of thirty two hundred, or you're spending eight hundred instead of thirty two hundred. You're you're saving a pretty good amount of money, but let's just go simply with yesterday. Now yesterday this truck made zero dollars. Um, I didn't wasn't able to get the delivery off, but we can't just use that as the defining moment of the entire process. So we'll go with, so yesterday we're going to go with six hours. I think about 15 minutes shy of six hours, but six hours, easy math. Um, six hours just to make it easy. So figure this truck lost just in downtime, $600 yesterday. Then you have a $200 road call for the guy to come out, which it may have been longer because they were a pretty good distance away, about an hour and a half away from where I was because I was in the middle of nowhere land, Alabama, when uh, when the tire decided to let go. So we'll say $200. Now we're up at $800 for the cost right there. Now you're putting a $400 tire on the truck. Um, you're at eight, so $1,200. So now instead of saving $2,400, you've now only saved $1,200 just on that one single blowout right there. Now, I didn't damage the, I thought I damaged the mud flap because it was kicked way out. I didn't damage the mud flap. I didn't damage the uh, the bat wing, and I didn't throw anything on the car like I kind of assumed I did. Um, so we got lucky and that was the extent of it. That single repair between downtime, between the actual out-of-money expenses, um, was about $1,200. So, not horrible, but if you're only saving $2,400, you've just cut half your profit or half your savings right there. And then you turn around and say, oh, look, I have blown three recaps in a year so far. So that's $1,200, $2,400, $3,600 with those three recaps. If we go with the roughly the same uh, price point of everything that we just did right here, obviously that does change a little bit. But even still, even if, even if today's expense or yesterday's expense was the high end and the other ones were half that price, then right there, you're still at break even. And I still have two recaps left on this truck. So do I think recaps are worth it? If you're in a pinch and, and you have to, whatever, throw a recap on. If they don't have anything, throw a recap on. But I'll be honest, even if I spent $100 on that recap, I would be on the phone with my tire guy saying, hey, you need to get me a virgin tire to the shop um, so as soon as I get back, I can take this one off. I would just give it to somebody over putting it on a car hauler. I wouldn't even try to get $50 out of it. I would just turn around and move that tire down the road and not even think or not even consider putting it back on the truck. The, 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 th the thought of... Yeah, you're, you're saving money. And I understand United Road's idea. Um, if, if you turn around and 
take that out over a thousand trucks, you're saving thirty two hundred dollars per truck. <clears throat> or or you're, you're sorry, you're saving twenty four hundred dollars per truck on a thousand trucks. That's what roughly uh, two point four million, I think. Yeah, two point four million dollars you've just saved. Yeah, that number's gigantic. But you have to track that number. You have to track the downtime. The uh, you have to track one the the downtime of getting those tires repaired when they blow. You have to track the amount of blowouts compared to virgins. Again, virgins can blow out, so they're not foolproof, but they're much, much, much less likely to blow out than, than a recap. Obviously, I've, I've blown three recaps in the course of about six, eight months. And before that, I had blown zero virgin tires. So let, let's let's go, go with that math right there. But, so you, you're saving $2.4 million. Yeah, that sounds like a giant number. Sounds like, oh, hey, look, with those savings, we can order more trucks. But you're, you're not, because you have to track from the beginning to the end on, on those numbers. You, you have to figure out from start to finish, are you actually saving any money or are you not? Are you spending more money having to do the repairs later? All you're doing is pushing off that expense that you're going to have anyways for further down the road. And... At the end of the day, my, my opinion is is it actually costs more money to to use recaps than it does to use the Virgin tires. You 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 have to track the downtime number. You have to track because because every every minute that that truck's not running, it's it's costing you money. So you have to track that number. You have to track the aggravation to the drivers. And the replacement cost on those drivers that end up leaving going to different companies. Because if they're unlucky, I, I would say I've been fairly lucky in the aspect of I've only had three blowouts. I have literally seen guys that have re, that have shown the photos of they had a blowout, drove another 120 miles, had another blowout. You have that happen too many times to too many guys, especially the good guys. And, and the, the guys that are out here making you money, a lot of them will leave. A lot of them will say, no, I've had enough. I'm not dealing with it. I'm out. So you have to track that number. You have to track the replacement cost of drivers. Um, and, and training a driver from being a rookie on up, that, I mean, that, that's going to be twenty five, thirty five thousand dollars $35,000 of expense to get a driver from knowing nothing about car hauling until they can start making a profit. There, there's a lot of money there. Um, and then lastly, you have to track the damage to the trucks and the damage to the load that you're hauling. Luckily, all three of my blowouts haven't affected a car at all. Um, knock on wood. Is, is that going to stay the case? No, I would say not. My Luckily, my blowout that I just had, um, I didn't have one of the cheap, truck stop mud flaps on so it kind of held its form and that side of the truck still has the metal um the metal bat wing but my my blowout was a d-tread not a blowout blowout and with a d-tread that one i i had two foot of tread just whipping around and at 65 70 miles an hour uh if i had the cheap plastic mud flap and the cheap, uh, or the, the, the cheap plastic bat wing and the cheap uh, mud flaps on, yeah, that could very easily swing up and smack the car. It could rip those off, and then I'm just throwing anything on the road up, straight up against the front of that car, and, and now, now you have a damage repair that could be thousands of dollars. So, um, our, so, our mud fl- our, so are recaps good? I'd say they have their place, but I don't think their place is on a car hauler, in my opinion. I think stay with Virgin Tires, spend the money, and save yourself some heartache further down the road. Um, 
But guys, if you are thinking about getting into car hauling, if this is something you want to do and you want to be an owner operator, check this link right here and go ahead and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all on the next one.